All right, so let's compare batch and stream processing. So batch processing is when you send batches, a collection of data to be processed, and batches are generally scheduled. So you might say every day at 1 p.m., but you could also just queue up a batch whenever you feel like it. Uh, batches are not real time, meaning that all the data is sent and then you wait until the batch is back to see the results. Batch processing is ideal for very large processing workloads. Batch processing is generally more cost efficient than stream processing. And so um, here we just kind of have a representation. So here we have our data, we broke it into batches or collections, we pass it to something like an ETL engine um, and it will transform the data and then we'll insert it into our database, data warehouse, data store, data uh, lake house, wherever you want to put it. Then we have stream processing. So this is when you process data as soon as it arrives, you'll have producers which will send data to a stream and consumers which will pull data from a stream. A lot of times a stream will look like a pipeline and data can be held in that uh, stream for uh, a period of time. So you have a, a better reusability of data if you need it for multiple um, consumers. Uh, stream processing is good for real-time analytics, real-time processing, like streaming videos, anything that has to do with real time if you need it right away. It For that purpose, it is much more expensive than batch processing. Um, and here's a visual representation where we have bits of our data. They go into our stream pipeline. They can be held there for a while. Uh, and sometimes minor operations will be performed on it, but consumers will pull the data and do what they want with that data. If we want to contextualize these things in terms of services on Azure, uh, the idea is you'd have your data sources and you'd ingest them into something like Azure Stream Analytics, or and I didn't really make this graphic very good, but the idea is that you go into Stream Analytics, or maybe you'd go into HD Insights, or maybe you'd go um, into Azure Synapse Al Analytics, or one of these intermediate steps, and then eventually you go to Power BI to make your visualization reports. For um, stream processing, you could use Event Hub. So Event Hub is a, uh, a single topic uh, streaming service and you could ingest that into Azure Stream Analytics. Um, it's funny because this is the Stream Analytics icon. This is actually the Hadoop icon up here. I just got it mixed up. But um, anyway, you go into Stream Analytics and then you could insert that into CosmoDB and then maybe pull CosmoDB into Power BI. Um, but yeah, that is the difference between the two, okay?